It's a great spot out there. The Wildlife it Safari is. Park is fantastic. The weather not so fantastic. We've got scattered thunderstorms across the metro right now. And tomorrow, if you've got some plans to be outside, it's a Randy factor of four. It will be unpleasant for being and working outside. All right, downtown, we've got a little lightning and thunder. You can see the current lightning strikes. Douglas County here near Bennington between there and Fort Calhoun. Also east of Gretna now, uh, Ralston, La Vista, Springfield, and a little more lightning down into Cass County. Our high temperature today, 62. Got down to 50 this morning. It's since dropped this evening uh, into the mid-40s. So far, it hadn't rained as of the top of the hour at Epley Airfield, but it is raining downtown. You can see the raindrops in the camera lens of the Embassy Suites on 10th Street. 45 degrees, thunderstorm reported. You see the flashes of lightning, east-northeast breeze at 14. Right now, it just looks like maybe a little bit of pea-sized hail is possible in the metro. A little more to the south of us. 45 here, 41 Fremont, 44 Plasmouth. It has really cooled off to the south of us with the northeast wind that continues. Uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour. There's a wind advisory overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here's the severe thunderstorm watch. That goes until 1 a.m. Here are the thunderstorms in the metro moving northeastward. A little bit stronger down here in Cass County. Some hail potential. One current warning, Odo County, strongest part of the storm having uh, occurred near Syracuse and just southwest of there. Could be still some hail to one inch in diameter. That warning goes until 10 45. All right, so this little cluster of thunderstorms moving northeastward, that's really the main event for us. There are a few more showers down here in Gage County, and you see the watch box that's in effect in this area here. Here's the snow, the blizzard conditions west uh, from South Dakota down into western Nebraska, eastern Colorado. Blizzard warnings continue overnight into Thursday. Impressive looking storm on our storm predictor. The center of the low tracks right up over the Omaha metro, so early tomorrow morning still fairly mild with snow just west of us. Closed roads, difficult travel, strong winds. As the low tracks north, we get a west wind. Temperatures fall in the afternoon, but we're not going to see much snow. As you can tell by our storm predictor, it's all west and north of us, other than some snow showers here. So just trace amounts or maybe a tenth or two tenths of an inch. That's all the way through Friday. Again, overnight, the thunder showers, uh, thunderstorms move northeastward, but still some sprinkles and showers for the morning drive with temperatures in the mid and upper 40s, slightly milder in the morning with that southeast breeze, but then colder again in the afternoon. 43 the low. Not everybody's seeing the thunderstorms, but about 80% coverage. The wind advisory that continues overnight with the strong east winds. 20% chance of showers at 8 a.m. and noontime. Greater chance late in the day. You see the temperatures start falling uh, afternoon time as the winds pick up out of the west. So impact weather, falling temperatures, snow showers tomorrow night. Cold weather for Friday will still be windy on Friday. Fortunately, lighter winds on Saturday. Pretty cold in the morning, 20s and then 30s for the early tailgaters. But temperatures climb into the low 50s in Lincoln on Saturday afternoon for football. Football? Yeah.